cute, huh? All right, I need a volunteer. I'll give a hundred grand to somebody to be a volunteer. No volunteer? All right, can we come up? Actually, I'll come to you. What's your name? Teresa what? Esposito. Teresa Esposito. All right, round of applause for Teresa Esposito. Who <laughs> just got a hundred grand, and yes, it is the candy bar. Oh, yeah. What, believe me, this is more worthwhile than one of my checks. Okay. Um, all right, I have a question for you. Do you have a bank account? Yes. Okay, and what bank? I'm not going to tell you. Very good. I like that. Okay. What's your social security number? I'm not going to tell you that either. What's your mother's maiden name? I definitely won't tell you that. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. That's a good reaction to not want to give away those pieces of information. Why? Because when you talk to a bank, brokerage house, or any of those kinds of places, those are the kinds of pieces of information that they look for, right? Now, you would never publish your social security number on the internet. But do you think there are people who publish their mother's maiden name on the internet? Do you think it's tough to find someone's mother's maiden name? It certainly isn't on Facebook anymore. I'll tell you, Facebook doesn't help you protect yourself. And it certainly doesn't help your kids. It doesn't help the next generation. The kids that are in their teens now and their early 20s that have opened up bank accounts since Facebook opened, for those kids, it's not difficult to figure out their mother's maiden name because usually that kid's account is open to everybody. That's normally the way they do it because they're very trusting at that age. And they're typically friends with their mothers and fathers, right? Because their mothers and fathers want to watch what they're doing. And a lot of women keep their maiden name these days. So especially for things like mother's maiden name, that information is so easy to find out these days, it's frightening that banks still use it. Now, 50 years ago, it was a good idea to use a mother's maiden name as sort of a password or a security word. Because 50 years ago, it was difficult to find out somebody's mother's maiden name. Now, it's easy. Not only that, if you think about the hackers that I was talking about, they can look on the internet for people who yell out their mother's maiden name. And you would think, nobody yells out, my mother's maiden name is blah, blah, blah. Like, let's say my mother's maiden name was Kelly, and I'm not going to give you the real one. But let's say my mother's maiden name was Kelly. I wouldn't yell out, my mother's maiden name is Kelly. But what I might say is, happy birthday... A happy birthday, Mom, Margaret Kelly O'Malley. And in that little tweet, or in that little Facebook comment, you know what I've just told the world? I've told the world my mother's maiden name, and I've told them my mother's birthday. All right, now, if you have some bank accounts, some of them will use your mother's birthday some of them use your mother's maiden name for security identity. Now you think, you know, well, what are the chances of hackers actually using that? Chances are pretty good. Because you know what they do? They look for tweets and Facebook posts that have the phrase, happy birthday, because now they know somebody's birthday. Mom. And three words. And they can have a computer program that just churns that all day long and then sees if it posts to a Facebook account. Just sees if it posts to some place where they can find someone's name, somebody's city. And then with that information, maybe they can find the top two or three banks in the city, call each of them, and when those banks ask for identifying information, maybe they've got some of it. Now, if they can't find the social security number, you're a little bit more protected. But what I want you to realize is that you might be putting information on Facebook or Twitter or whatever that could get you into danger and not even think about it. Here's some of those pieces of information. Potential bad information. Your own birth date. Because some companies use that as an identifier, right? Have you seen that? You called up, they asked what your birth date is? Well, how difficult do you think it is for somebody to figure out your birthday? 
if 50 people had just posted on your Facebook wall, happy birthday. So I'll tell you one thing that I do. I never put my actual birth date on Facebook. I always make it a day or two or three days before my birthday for a couple reasons. One is I don't want identity thieves to know my exact birthday. Secondly, I got a lot of friends that will say, oh, shame I missed your birthday. I was going to buy you some beers. And I could say, hey, you can still do this. All right. Another thing is the mother's maiden name. We talked about that already. Another is your pet's name. And this tends not to be used that much by banks, but it tends to be used by things like email accounts, like Hotmail, Yahoo, etc. Have you ever seen cases like that, or, or cell phone companies sometimes? They ask you, what is your favorite pet's name? Right, or what is your pet's name? Well, that information is no longer private. Loads of people post that on Facebook. And with enough information like this, I can conceivably break into some of the accounts that some of you might have. Or actually, a hypothetical hack could do that. So, what should you do about it? Here's the first huge recommendation that I would give you. And that is to lie. If a bank asks for your mother's maiden name, lie. Why? Because the bank never actually goes and calls your mother and says, what's your maiden name? What the bank's really saying to you is, what do you want to use as a password, as a security identifier? And like I said, 50 years ago, mother's maiden name was a good idea. If they ask, what is your mother's maiden name, and you tell them, Goose, and it's Mother Goose, <laughs> they'll take it. And then when you call back later on, and they say, what's your mother's maiden name? You say, Mother Goose. Here's the advantage. No hacker is ever going to figure that out. And you can do this with any of the current bank accounts that you have. And frankly, it's shocking to me that banks still haven't figured this out. And other financial institutions haven't figured this out. What they ought to say is, make up a password, and we'll use that. So, if you give a name other than your mother's maiden name, that's a better idea.